Today I'm going to talk about the devourer that's mentioned in Malachi 3.11. Now most, most of us know Malachi 3.10 when God says I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing so large you'll not have room enough to receive it. That's increase. But then verse 11, God says this, I will rebuke the devourer. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast forth her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. So we're going to talk about things that eat up and devour increase. Really, when you talk about um, things that eat up increase, one of, the, one of the classic examples is found in the book of Joel, when God sent an army of locusts upon the land to devour their crops for their disobedience and their rebellion and for breaking covenant. And the locusts, he really he mentions four different groups, the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar. It, historically, they actually eat swarms of locusts, worms came and devoured their crops, ate up their increase, and the land was destroyed by this invading army. Now, have you ever, have you ever seen videos of an army of locusts coming? They are formidable. They eat up everything. You can probably go to YouTube and look up locust invasions and see pictures of them in some parts of the world when they come by the millions and just eat up everything, devour everything, and destroy the harvest, destroy the crops. And, and the scripture actually calls them the army of the Lord in Joel. He's the Lord of hosts or the Lord of, arm, Lord of armies. And I've, I've often prayed for people in doing deliverance and, and, and have come against demons of the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar. Spirits that represent um, locusts or devouring, that eat up eat up a person's prosperity. It often comes through disobedience, rebellion. It can represent the demonic, that which comes to eat up, devour. And so God calls this, I will rebuke the devourer. Uh, really, the enemy, the devil is a devourer. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's a devourer. He comes to eat up your crops, your blessing, your harvest, your, your, your increase. And um, sometimes it needs to be rebuked. God promised Israel that if you will give, I will rebuke the devourer. So one of the ways that you get the devourer rebuke from your life is through giving. Giving uh, opens the way for God to rebuke or stop the devourer. We don't want the devourer devouring our blessing, devouring our increase, devouring our harvest. And sometimes you can rebuke the devourer with the authority God has given you or ask God to rebuke the devourer. If you feel like all of your blessings, your increase are being devoured, being eaten up, being, being taken away, and you can't seem to stop it, like locusts or canker worms or palmer worms or caterpillars in Joel uh, chapter two, then rebuke it. Now, God told them to fast. And when they fasted and repented, he would turn the army away. He would drive the army off. So fasting, repentance is one of the ways that you can cause the, the devourer to leave, uh, especially if there's rebellion, disobedience in your life. Fasting, repentance, humility. God said, I'll turn this invasion around and I'll send, I'll drive this army away. I'll rebuke, I'll send the, the devourer away if it's judgment. Now, sometimes I believe that the enemy does come. I know he comes, John 10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Uh, increase is connected to abundance. I believe that having a good life means having abundance, prosperity, favor, even in material things. Now, material things, of course, are not everything, but it is important to have your needs met, to have more than enough. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, Proverbs 10, 22. Uh, I believe that God will increase you more and more, you and your children. Proverbs of Psalms 114, 115 rather than verse 14. 
God can bring you to a wealthy place. Psalm 66 and 12, he'll increase you more and more. You and your children, Psalms 115, 14. He'll enlarge the place, as you enlarge the place of your tent, you'll break forth on the right hand and on the left, Isaiah 54 and 3. Blessing of the Lord makes rich, Proverbs uh, 10, 22. So I believe that increase is a part of abundance, prosperity, and a good life. God does not want us lacking. He does not want our blessings, our land, our crops, our harvest to be devoured. So today I rebuke, and I pray, I pray, let me do it this way. I pray that God would rebuke the devourer. Lord, I pray that if there's any sin, any disobedience in our lives, we humble ourselves, we ask you to forgive us, we repent, we turn away from it. And Lord, we ask you to rebuke every locust, every canker worm, every palmer worm, every caterpillar, everything that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And Lord, based on Malachi 3.11, you said that if we give, you'll, you'll cause blessings to come, increase, will not have room enough to receive it, and you will rebuke the devourer. And the devourer will not, the locust will not be able to eat up and devour our increase. And so Lord, I pray against every devouring spirit, every locust, every canker worm, every palmer worm, every caterpillar, everything sent by the end, every moth that comes to eat and devour, I rebuke it, command it to go. Any spirit of the moth, a spirit of the canker worm, the caterpillar, the locust that comes to devour our finances, devour our increase, I rebuke it and ask you, Lord, to intervene and rebuke it for those that have been suffering at the hands of the devourer. And I pray for increase, abundance, multiplication. I pray for harvest. I pray for a leap and a quantum release this year. Let 2024 be the year of more as we continue to decree it, prophesy it, pray it. Let it manifest in our lives the verses that we've been speaking. Lord, I thank you for doing miracles in our life, miracles of deliverance and miracles of protection. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, I want you to believe God. No devourer, no locust, no moth will eat up what belongs to you, your blessings, your increase, your abundance. Again, no locust, no moth will eat it up, but you'll have more than enough and your blessings will be preserved. Amen. Don't forget April 10th, excelling in the, in the prophetic masterclass. Register today so you can get a copy of the ebook that, that's connected to the masterclass I'm going to be teaching from. It's a brand new book. First time releasing it today. And that is at impactulive.com. Impactulive.com. Dot com impact the letter U live.com. And I'm looking forward to this master class on and not just the prophetic, but how to excel in it, how to grow in it, how to how to develop excellence in the prophetic ministries, and how to minister in excellence and have excellence uh, in your life so that it flows through your prophetic ministry. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Even if you're a beginner in the prophetic, especially if you are a beginner, even if you're more experienced. I want you to take this master class so you can also teach it and even use the book to teach it. If you want to teach a class on it or do something with it, feel free. We want to get this teaching out to as many people as possible. So thank you for registering. We'll be talking about it in the next couple of weeks. And um, thank you for your seeds, your giving, your, in, your increase, your abundance. I'll give you, again, Deuteronomy 111, the Lord make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. So your 111 seed today, if you haven't done it yet, if you want to do it again, go to those giving addresses I've given either in, in, um, in Clubhouse with the business card or on Facebook Live with the giving addresses we've given. We also have the registration link for the upcoming masterclass. All right, thank you so much. We'll do it again tomorrow morning at the same time until you hear from me again. God bless you and double shalom. God bless.